So for the next two days, we are at the Wearable Technologies Conference in San Francisco. I'm doing a talk tomorrow about designing for meaningfulness in wearables. And today we're hearing from people like Billy from Wearable X, someone from Stanford's eWear program, and a whole bunch of other people. It's super interesting and it's also part of Semicon West, so there's a lot of interesting semiconductor people here. Now there's an alarm, so I'm gonna go. <laughs> simple it's just a single press a b c d e f g h i j hold one thumb k l m n o p q r s t u v w x y z it does 108 keystrokes so you can text and type and just keep your hand actually in your pocket if you want welcome to day two let's go check out the semicon west exhibition That was a great couple of days at Wearable Technologies. I got a lot of new ideas and new inspiration, and I really enjoyed some of the talks, especially Meg Grant from Seismic talking about interdisciplinary collaboration, because that is something that all of us are dealing with these days. And also Spire talking about making technology disappear. So they now have a new patch that is sewn into clothing that is measuring breathing. I saw some really cool tech, such as those e-ink display bracelets, and that was quite cool because I got to see them in product development last year at Wearable Technologies. And one of the fun things about being in San Francisco is that tomorrow we are headed to the Beta Store. And the Beta Store is basically like the Internet of Things in person. You get to go and see all the new products that maybe you've heard about on the Internet, but not actually seen in person. So I'm going to go there, we're going to check them all out and see what is in store for us with the Internet of Things. Until tomorrow. So that was the beta store. And if it's any indication of our future, we are headed towards a world of iRobot where everything is white and silicone encased. There were a couple of exceptions, of course, the motif ring and also the projection that could project on any surface and be interactive. So I do hope that we have 
a small amount of craft, traditional craft, and everyday aesthetics going into our future smart products. And that's it for San Francisco. We've been to wearable technologies, we've been to the beta store, and we continue our hunt for meaningful devices.